Good morning, everyone. This is Connie Myers. This is Saturday morning and it's 10 o'clock. So it must be 270 and beyond. I want to just really celebrate that this is our first 270 and beyond in 2020. And I couldn't be more excited about what 2020 is going to bring for me and for you and for uh, our friends and our family. I love the sound of the word 2020 or the number rather. And so I did a little research and I found out in numerology that 2020 is a very significant number. It says 2020 is a very special year of perfect vision and accomplishment. The code for 2020 unveils a brand new manual for the next decade. Isn't that exciting? The 2020, in 2020, the code of peace, 2020 vision, and responsibility will create you, will help you create real results and security all year long. It is a number that um, will be, you're asked to be fully invested. You are creating a foundation for long lasting success, security, and grounding by building something of value that stands the test of time. In 2020, you will add have additional strength, discipline, for, and fortitude to work miraculous results for yourself. 2020 will create remarkable opportunities for you to take your foot off the brake and move forward with diligence and courage. With full commitment and conscious engagement, you can open doors to immense success, happiness, and financial flow. Think of 2020 as a year of accomplishment, making your dreams real, but that is just part of the story. So what is 2020? What is your 2020 perfect vision? And I want to talk a little bit about that. So Inc. Magazine just came out with an article where they talk about um, a, a woman by the name of Lori. Let's see. What's her name? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Terry Loner, who wrote a book called Working Solo. And uh, in the article, they talk about she asked the question, if you had a million dollar racehorse, what would the job of that racehorse be? Well, of course, it would be to make you run, win races and make money, right? So would you shove fast food down this horse's mouth? Would you run it till it couldn't run anymore? Would you keep it from getting rest? No, of course not. You would make sure that the horse ate properly, that it was properly rested and in good physical shape. So when you're looking at your 2020 vision, I want you to look at what that looks like for your business, for yourself, for the people around you, your personal life. And one of the ways that I like to start doing that is by coming up with a word of the year. Now, why is it that you want to have a word for the, of the year? You want to have a word of the year because it helps you to stay focused and present and intentional and aware of where you are going and what your whatever your vision is for that year. So let's take a look at the word that I chose last year. My word last year was abundance. And 2019 for me uh, and hopefully for you was an amazing growth year. I did, I did have a lot of accomplishments, but I also was able to really look at everything I had done in the last seven years and figured out, okay, this is where I'm going. This is the year to put it all together. So 2019, my word of abundance it, that I made, you always want to make an acronym because it brings the word to life. And I was taught this just last year. I didn't realize it until then. But so my uh, acronym for abundance is awe inspiring. I wanted to be inspired and I also wanted to inspire others. I want to be bodacious. I needed to get my my other side, and believe you me, this year, Susie came out, my alter ego, and she is about as bodacious as you want to get. I wanted to be uplifting. I really wanted to help others, uh, not just others, but myself as well, be uplifted and looking upward and forward and open. And I hope I did that to help some folks. I wanted to be nourishing to myself. I mean, one of the things I did learn this year is how to take better care of myself and be a little more diligent about self-care, whether it was mental or physical. 
dauntless. I really, I was persistent in 2019. I was, I didn't want to, I didn't want to say no. I wanted to say yes. And I wanted to be as, aspiring to others. And then I wanted to be notable. So I wrote a couple courses. I got a, a, a leadership book out. Um, so I wanted to be notable. I wanted to be able to um, help others see that they can also, their, their life is notable. And it's important to recognize that your life is notable. I wanted to be captivating. I wanted to have fun. And, and for me, captivating is having fun and showing your true fun self. And I wanted to be effervescent. I wanted to be transparent. I wanted to be somebody that people would look at and go, she is authentic. So what is my word for this year? Well, I thought when I was trying to come up with an acronym for abundance, which is nine letters, that maybe I should have chosen a shorter word. Well, this year I actually chose the word that's 10 letters, and that is prosperity. And I chose prosperity because last year I got everything ready. I got everything ready to, to launch, and I started launching a few things. But this year it's all about launching. So my word is, um, is prosperity. So I'm just, I don't have the final version of the acronyms for my word yet, but I think I'm on a good track. So the first is being present. There's nothing more important than being present. That's how things happen. That's how the energies move you forward is by staying in the uh, present moment. I want to have great rapport with myself, first of all, but also connecting. I, I made some amazing connections in 2019, and I want to develop that into really wonderful rapport. I want to be objective. I want to make sure that the decisions that I'm making this year are decisions that are going to, first of all, help me and help others all at the same time. I want to be very strategic. I've got a lot of busy things going on. I want to make sure that I stay strategic. And I say no to things that are not going to be a part of my 2020 vision. I want to be professional. We all want to be professional. And I want to try to take that professionalism to a whole new level. I want to be energetic. Um, this last year, I lost three dress sizes. I'm way more energetic, energetic than I was at the beginning of last year. I am starting a whole new regimen as far as my workouts and my eating habits have always been good. So I'm just going to take those to a whole new level. I want to be radiant. So if you're nourishing your body, nourishing your soul, you're nourishing your body, you will be. So what are you going to do this year to make yourself radiant? I want to be intentional. I want to make sure everything that I do is intentional and it moves me forward with my vision and what it is that I want for my life. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful for everything. First of all, all these last eight years, I have everything to be grateful for. I have, I have just, it's amazing the things that have come into my life. And I want to continue and be thankful and grateful for all the incredible people and things that have happened in my life. Because you see, when you're full and you're thankful, you actually change the hormones in your brain to help create more energies that give you more things to be thankful for. Make sure that you have, I, I have a little jar that says, one jar says gratitude, the other one says success. Either or something you can write down at least three things every day that you're grateful for in the morning and three things you're grateful for at night. And three successes you had the, that day or the day before. And three things you had that you were successes that night in the night. And then I am so looking forward to having this year absolutely the best it can possibly be. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Um, so I hope that 2020 the year that you are make sure you find a word right write out the acronym for that word and then i put my word let me see if i can show you here I pull it up i put my word on my cell phone i don't know if you can see that it says abundance 
and it has all of the the acronyms or the words for the acronym. And I'll see that every day, several times a day because my phone goes off and it comes back on. I have written your vision. Put it in your cell phone. That way you can listen to it. I